This next question comes from Spike. And the question is, what is SimVer anyways, which is short for semantic version <laughs> versioning. And uh, they, uh, they had a really long story I'm going to summarize. Uh, and honestly, the story might even be good for like one of the, the spooky Halloween episodes because it's about uh, upgrading when they shouldn't have. But the TLDR is mm. they wanted to use jQuery version three features. So they just upgraded without realizing that some downstream site was actually dependent on jQuery v2. Clients got really mad. They started reaching out. Why is everything broke? And then they just downgraded back to, to V2. So I'll dive in really quick just to talk about what Simver is. If you want to learn more, Simver.org has a great explanation of, of what this is, but you've probably seen it before. So if you're installing a package from NPM, it's always going to have a three dot number. So that's the major number dot the minor number dot the patch number. The current version of React is 18.2.0. And so 18 is the major version, 2 is the minor version, and 0 is the patch number. And if a project is following semantic versioning, like the React library is, that major number, that 18, if that ever goes up, that means there are breaking changes. So that's why we see the jump from like 16 to 17 to 18. React has introduced backwards incompatible changes, and they're letting you know via the, the version number, the major version number. The minor version number is for added functionality, so like new features that don't break things. So the next version here, if React adds new features, would be 18.3. And then that last number is for patches and bug fixes. So if there's maybe not a new feature, but they fixed a bug, they would bump that to 18.2.1. And there's other stuff to learn about this, like pre-release and like alpha and, and different things like that. But when you see a version number like that, it's very likely that the project is using semantic versioning. You should note, though, that any version number be below version 1 there are no guarantees. So you can expect breaking changes at any time. And I have experience with that uh, more recently with uh, Auth.js. So that's the project from the Next Auth team to make an Auth library that will work with a lot of different backend libraries, not just Next.js. And it's still experimental. Um, and they clearly label that on their website. Mm -hmm. So they are version 0 0.28.0. So they're not even version 1 yet. But each, each new feature, a lot of times, actually is a breaking change. And next time, it'll be like 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. So you can't always guarantee that they're they're following semantic versioning, but you should definitely like look at their the, look at the library and 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 see what they say in their docs. And then another interesting one is TypeScript. So TypeScript actually doesn't follow semantic versioning at all. Yeah, yeah, all. yeah. <laughs> and they they have a, a a link in the show notes. There's an article that describes what exactly they do. I'll give you the short version here. So a new minor version is released every three months with new features. And then a new major version is released if the minor version would have exceeded nine. So if they if if they're going from four point nine to if to four point ten, they actually just bump the whole version to five. So they're they're actually uh, you'll find that in TypeScript a lot of times you can upgrade from four to five and there actually aren't breaking changes and that's because they're not actually following semantic versioning. Yeah, well, it's it's it, I really like that explanation about everything. What's funny is that I've always said I don't I could not tell you why this is. I've always said semvar and oh. and like now that you're saying semver saying it like that I'm like obviously it's semver. I don't know why I, mean, I, don't I would know. have ever said semvar <laughs> in the first place. I pronounce um, a lot of things wrong so maybe no, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's semantic versioning semver. That makes yeah. so much more sense than semvar. <laughs> I have no idea why I possibly would and now I'm feeling embarrassed cuz I know I've said that on the podcast a whole bunch. Mm. Um in, in a general rule too if you're updating packages, typically you can update a patch version, but yeah. always test your code, make sure it works. I pretty much always YOLO update patch versions for stuff and then just make sure everything's working afterwards. I'll, I'll update, you know, 10 or so different. I'll, it's a bad practice, but I'll update like 10 or so different packages to their patch versions at once, typically because it doesn't break anything. But, you right. know, yeah, you never can be sure. You always got to test it. Yeah. And it was really hard for us, too, when we announced that Syntax was getting acquired by Sentry. I think rightfully mm. people were concerned. <laughs> they were very concerned that this was going to be another CSS tricks, which obviously it hasn't been. But I think Sentry was cognizant of that. They were like, we need to make sure that we are assuring people that this is not that we.